Mila's Ronic has proven to be still competitive on fast surfaces. The results he got in this first part of 2019 are encouraging and at least on hard courts and on grass courts, he has good chances to get good placings. But what can he get in the next months in terms of results and victories? Certainly from April to June, during the clay season, he will not start among the favorites. For physical and technical skills, he doesn't adapt well to the game on clay courts. Having said that, in the next three months he will have to play defensively, still trying to get good results on a surface that is not favorable to him. The beginning of the grass swing, the summer on the US hard courts and the indoor season on hard courts, however, will be very interesting moments of the season for the Canadian, where he will surely get something good. We must not forget that, since January, he has already reached the Australian Open quarterfinals, losing to Lucas Pui, and the Indian Wells semi-final, where he was eliminated by the eventual champion Dominic Thiem. At the Miami Open, Ronick will be able to continue this favorable trend. In the meantime, his ranking will help him to take benefit from the good placements he got until March and that he could get from mid-June onwards. What is still missing in Canadian tennis, is the ability to take the last step, the decisive one, which makes the difference between an excellent placement and victory. Former Wimbledon finalist will have great chances between Stuttgart and the championships but also between the Rogers Cup and the US Open. Even on the indoor swing, he can be a protagonist. It will be essential for Ronick to maintain this psychophysical form of awareness, even during the clay season, without losing efficacy and solidity. We must also not forget his desire for victories, as his last title came in January 2016.